the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, has raised concern, of course, over the insecurity rocking the entire southeastern region and have raised alarm calling on international intelligence communities to investigate the incessant insecurity rocking the entire eastern region, most especially the southeast, that have been the most peaceful and humanly secured region of Nigeria, as been certified by the United Nations Development Program in 2016, confirmed that the southeastern region or part of Nigeria was the most secured and most peaceful. But unfortunately, that is not the case today. Even when the IPOBs are conducting their programs and rallies, it was a peaceful demonstration that is the fault of violence. But unfortunately, the state actors have taken the advantage of that in order to discredit the region as the most peaceful region, humanly secured region of Nigeria. And to this end, uh, the spokesperson, a map powerful, has called on intelligence communities of course, the British Council and every other person to begin to, of course, make an inquest, inquiry and investigation over the continued insecurity, the killings, the manning, the kidnappings that have remained unabated, accusing the state, the Nigerian state, being responsible for the insecurity rocking the entire eastern region, according to him. It is state sponsored and the investigation, thorough investigation must be carried out to ascertain those who are behind that and what their interests represent to make the region ungovernable and to discredit it from being the most reputable, the most peaceful, serene region of, of course, Biafra as the case is. Your take on this? We Biafrans. They, will, they may call us Eastern region of Nigeria, or South East or South South, but I know that we are Bia France. In that part of the world, which I belong to, while we are the most peaceful area, while we are the most peace-loving people, because we regard human life, life is so precious for us. And we have fear of God. We like to add good value into life. Therefore, we don't kill anyhow. We don't kill at all. How much for to kill anyhow? And we know the rule of law. We, we follow everything in a way of dialogue. This is why it's true that we are good in business. Because we know the procedure of this. You know, we are merchandise and anybody who loves business who loves life doesn't do anything riots killing because when they take what we'll surrender them they like to take everything peacefully but now that area has become the most insecure place in the world why what have what cause we we don't kill we don't make riots look at it Starting from 1999, when Waziri Ke started with son with uh, Mozob, what is the actualization of the Biafran Republic or Biafran uh, government? Movement for the actualization of the Biafran... Whatever, whatever yes, it may be. State. Then we are first of all killed in a way by Nigerian Imo State government under uh, 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 I think this one was in poor junction. They killed them. They went uh, 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 on Imo, local government, on Wazirika local government, from, from uh, uh, town. Kill them there with that, that, with that number. On Wazirika and everybody did not react. Because we are peace loving people. Dead bodies lit up everywhere. We take it candidly. Before Owasrika and these people became tired of themselves and drop Nam De Kalo and IPOB pick it up. 
Remember they kill IPOB in Head Bridge. We did not fight back. They kill in CKC, Aba. We did not fight back. They went to Operation Pattern Dance first. First. Operation Pattern Dance second. Operation Pattern Dance third. We know how they massacre human beings. So they said they kill dog. We do not react. Not the camel. Escape. They kidnap him and brought him back home. We do not react. We not fight the government of Nigeria. But now that area is turning to jungle of no safety. If not someone ever that suit on the feet and say no way, this one cannot be. Fulani foot soldiers, known as uh, uh, Fulani helpsmen, who have taken over the land. Do you, do, do you understand what I'm saying? Now, the insecurity in Biafra land is caused by government. What do I call it? State government or federal government? Because federal government back state government. So we don't look at it in this way. Uh, it's an active election. Was not won by Uzo Dema in Imo State. It was PDP, Yedioha won that election in Imo State. And for that eight months, Yedioha ruled. There was no killing, no clean of Fulani, no clean of Biafrans, no clean even though they managed to kill an uh, uh, animal to eat. Everyone was so calm, so peaceful. Then Fulani government of Nigeria under Buhari APC wasn't happy. They used South Coast Supreme Court and removed Yadio and put their own servant, Usodima. Since that time, Usodima entered. Do you see insecurity? In Imo State, how it takes place. Every day they are dropping bombs. Every day they are killing. But if you don't know, it will be no Kigwe. If not, it will be no It will be no worry. If not, you know, over there, it will be uh, in a uh, 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 Which means government know about it. Federal government are using their agent in power. Who's a game man? Look at the uh, When Omar was there, and maybe they come to APC. When he was in PDP, there was peace in Eboi state. And maybe they come to APC, they use him for a good Killing start in in the in 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 state. Killing and what is that going on? Was it intended to discredit the most peaceful region as of United, Africa? As United Nations say, federal government of Nigeria are not happy. The tribe, Fulani and the Yorubas are not happy. Mostly Fulani to say, look at these people, for them to be recognized in this good good, good thing. Now they agitate their own servants. And their observers are doing the, their bidding to make sure that what United Nations uh, development and uh, whatever said concerning we be France are nullified. They will see us as a criminal. As when Buhari went to United Nations when he, when he was there and said the Igbos are criminals, they are the problem of Nigeria, they are this of Nigeria, all the whole killing, all the whole atrocity, all the whole stealing are the Igbos. When when he talked finish, the people he addressed and said, this is what they say. Allow them to go. Let them go to the place and, and be stealing. Let them go to the place and be doing that battle. And you say no. I know that they are not good. I want to keep them. Let them go. Could it mean that uh, this was intended to discredit the agitation for the restoration of Biafra? Yes. To make it ungovernable and racist so that the international community will see it as a racist region and, of course, discredit Biafran agitation. Look, I want this a monopoly. To make sure they bring their front down. And they're using their agents, like uh, Uzo Dima, like uh, uh, Willow Bialo, former governor of Anambra State, like uh, Soludo. Now, Peter Mba have entered in Enugu. When uh, 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 Ifani, I mean, uh, uh, Ifani uh, 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 Uguan was here, there was a killing, but not like this. Now, Peter Mba entered there. All that to be clean people, I sit, sit, sit at home. Lock people shop. Now, he entered there, one to two the land and give to Fulani for them to come and occupy. Which is exactly what uh, uh, a more powerful uh, 
maintain that uh, it was intended to discredit uh, the girlfriend struggle, but however, uh, it appears uh, they are not succeeding. Imapa Waf himself, follow course. Imapa Waf is part of the insecurity. Because they are the one that the plan to kidnap Nam de Kalo. Had it been Nam de Kalo was, was outside, this thing will not be happening. Had it been Nam de Kalo, is it not Nam de Kalo that the form ESN? That 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 much flani helps men killing and raping did not take place in our land, but immediately a mapa wafo immediately a mapa wafo and co betrayed Nam de Kalo and collect money and disband ESN under their control. Fulani fool our land. Who's the game came? This person came. This person came. When Fulani, when, when uh, Nam de Kalo was there, ESN was functioning fully. Did we have any such type of thing? A more powerful followed for to, uh, contributed to the insecurity. He just he just uh, uh, lamented, pretending. Federal government. Who is the federal government? Is he not part of the federal government? Is he not the agent of the federal government? This is one whenever when they talk IPOB, IPOB. I will say which is IPOB. Is it IPOB under someone ever? Until our onion do mass and up the color come out. Or is it IPOB under DOS? Is it not the uh, chicken dossier? A map of waffle. You can't get Uguru Agu. Chin has some woru. Push a mefo. Are they not the one who sold the Biafra out? Honestly, for them to for them calling on Britain and the Nigeria to investigate. They don't say we've been picketed. Britain being the enemy, supposed enemies of Biafra. And Nigeria as well, I could be somehow suspicious, you know, coming from people who should have known better that these are enemies of the Biafran state. Not enemies of the Biafra. The map of him saying all this thing to cover up his iniquity as if he not contributed. Is it not the one that sold the name Eh? He just say, hey, hey, who do he want to face his get? Don't you know that if they investigate it, you'll be implicated. It seems that uh, IPOB DOS, a more powerless, it seems that they want to shoot themselves gone on the leg. They want to shoot themselves gone on the leg. It's just like uh, asking your, en your enemy to operate on you. Not your enemy. Not your enemy. They are friends. He's just pretending. Okay. <laughs> Why don't you call, call Israel to come and in investigate? Why don't, don't you call Finland to come and investigate? Why don't, don't you call Canada or Russia to come and investigate? Why don't you call America to come and investigate? He's calling Britain and He's Nigeria. He's still calling Britain and, and Nigeria, Nigeria to come and investigate. Which is the arch enemies of the uh, Biafran Restoration. Okay. If, why not Britain investigate the kidnapping of Nam de Kalo first? Let them investigate the kidnapping of Nam de Kalo. A Papa Wolf is pretending as he is a part and parcel of Britain and the Nigerian government. As if he is a part and parcel, parcel of uh, insecurity in Nigeria. Tell him to mind his, how, how is he mingling with different cases now. Oh. Tell him, oh, who know a Papa Wolf should warn him? We know the real, we, we know the real freedom fighters. We know the real freedom fighters. Not people like them, betrayers. Thank you so much. Um, I am Mr. Akbara, the new Oko content in this Republic of Biafra. Live by Mazen Nam de Kalo. And he's at the OB government of Biafra. Long live Republic of Biafra. Long live Mazen Nam de Kalo. Long live Simon Eka. Long live Finland and people of Finland. Long live Donald Trump and America.